Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome, and if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. You guys, today's video is going to be on my latest obsessions. And when I tell you, there are gonna be some shockers in here, so just brace yourself, prepare yourself. But if you would like to know five fragrances that I cannot stop wearing, stop spraying, um, you know, just cannot, get enough of and then just continue to watch. Okay, you guys, so this first one I sampled, okay? And it was an immediate add to cart moment. And this is Bianco Latte. And this is from the house of, I can never remember this house name. It is Giardini di Toscana and this fragrance is for the gourmand lovers okay strictly for the gourmand girls this is very caramel vanilla it's very sweet and it's quite electronic to me okay caramel can sometimes give electronic vibe and sometimes it doesn't but for me this definitely comes off as more of a lectonic um, caramel. So if you know that that's not quite your vibe, I would say definitely test it first. But this thing is absolutely delicious. Now I tried Bora Bora from the house and it was kind of boring, boring. So that one went back, but this one I absolutely love. My daughter hates this perfume on me. I don't know why. She was like, mom, you smell like bacon grease and sugar. <laughs> Like, y'all, her explanation for fragrances sometimes when she's trying to describe what she smells is absolutely hilarious. But this one is so delicious. And it's gourmand, very sweet, but this has like an airy lightness to it where you can definitely wear this for summer. Now, you may not wanna overspray it like you've lost your mind, but this one is a very sweet caramel vanilla gourmand that can wear in the summer month. All right, you guys, so the notes on this fragrance are quite simple, but they are just exquisite, okay? So you have caramel as a top note. You've got some cumarin, which is similar to tonka bean, but just a much more concentrated version of that. You've got some honey, which I don't even think I knew honey was in here. Maybe that's why it's coming off just a little different from your typical caramel fragrance. And you have some vanilla and musk, okay? It's not overly complex in doing the most, but that is just, when you have vanilla and you have caramel, that's all I need, okay? Sign me up and I am so in love with this. And so if you've been on the fence about it, I know so many people are like, you know, do I do Bora Bora? Do I do um, Bianco Latte? Because it's definitely starting, you know, to get a little viral at the moment um, between those two. This one is the one I would recommend if you were looking for something gourmand, because I thought I was gonna get something, not necessarily full on gourmand Bora Bora, but gourmand-ish. And it was definitely giving me heady florals, um, sweet caramel, but not like, it wasn't, it just wasn't giving. It wasn't giving enough for me to justify having a full bottle of that. Um, so I sent it back and I exchanged it for this beauty right here absolutely in love again just okay gourmet lovers dream this is bianco latte by i'm never gonna remember this name giardini di toscana okay so this next one where are you okay are you sitting down if you're driving pull over because look okay we have a patchouli fragrance a patchouli fragrance on the list. If you're new here, you may not understand, but if you've been riding with me, you know I have a hate-hate relationship with patchouli and every now and then one will work for me, okay? But for it to be like a predominantly patchouli fragrance, I never thought I'd see the day. Nilla Royal Sugar Patchouli really shocked me, the fact that I love that one, um, but this as well. Now this was the very first fragrance that I ever smelled that had a very dominant patchouli that like it shook me. I was just like, what? I have never smelled patchouli done like this. I hate patchouli, but I love this fragrance. And why is it so damn expensive? <laughs> Lovely Patchouli Night 55 from the house of Kriegler. 
first of all, I was not even gonna go anywhere near this fragrance, okay? But I don't know whose page I was on, but somebody in the comments said that they love Lovely Patchouli, I think the regular version, um, and they hate patchouli. They hate patchouli, but this is like, they loved this fragrance. And so when I ordered my bottle of Abracadabra 221 um, in my Charming California 215, they allow you to pick out, I think like three or four samples. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead, you know, since I can get a free sample of Kregler, we're gonna see what this lovely patchouli uh, 55 night is talking about. I sprayed it and I was like gobsmacked. Well, how Abby said gobsmacked, I was just like, what in the, like I didn't know like what to think and who am I right now, y'all? This thing is so refined and smooth and exquisite and just, it's an experience. This is an experience. It's extremely heavy on the sandalwood and so that is giving it like this, um, this very, very, very smooth quality to the point where it's almost like, it's like milky almost. The sandalwood is so creamy in this, okay? And so whatever sharpness or, or bite the patchouli would have had, it smooths it out, okay? It's almost coming across, it's like a chocolatey patchouli with this very creamy sandalwood and the patchouli night, okay, has the extra dose of vanilla. Um, and it's like, it is such a, a delicious wearing experience. It's not gourmand, but there is just something absolutely exquisite about this fragrance. Now, I had this on my wish list for like over a year, okay? Then on top of it already being expensive for this house, you know, cause they're not all priced equally, expensive even for Kriegler. I was like, why is this Lovely Patchouli night so expensive? My Lovely Patchouli is not as expensive, but for some reason, honey, I guess because the vanilla, I don't know, like totally out of my price range, totally out of the range that I would ever pay for a fragrance, um, you know, right now in life, you know? Um, and then they jacked the prices up even more. I just took it off. Like, I'm never gonna have this fragrance. But never say never, because what? God works in mysterious ways. Makari. <laughs> Got it deeply discounted, and I'm so grateful to the woman that accepted my offer. I want to say she is a subscriber, um, but I'm not positive. Um, Thank you. If you are, and you know you recently sold a bottle of Lovely Patchouli, it's me. I am her, and thank you, because you made my, my birthday month, like this is my birthday present to myself, and I can't believe that this is in my collection now. I really cannot. So if you're a patchouli hater, I'm not saying run out and buy this, but just have faith. <laughs> that there are always gonna be those anomalies out there, you guys, that will shock you and that, you know, you can never say I never when it comes to fragrance because I never <laughs> thought that I would be holding this bottle in my hand and that I would be such a lover of a prominent patchouli fragrance, all right? So exquisite, exquisite fragrance. Again, this is Lovely Patchouli Nights from the House of Kriegler. So this next one, also on the wish list for some time. And Twisted Lily actually reached out to me after expressing that I really, really would like to receive a bottle of this one at some point. Um, and randomly they emailed me and said, are you still interested? Hell yes. Bois d'Ambrette <laughs> by Atelier Matari. Um, This had been on my wish list since I added Cacao Porcelana a few months back. And this is by far the most amazing ambrette, ambrette seed, you know, dominant fragrance that I have ever put my little two nostrils on. So this is leaning a little masculine, um, not a frou-frou girly, you know, type of scent at all. But if you love musk, okay, if you love unisex fragrances and you love ambrette, like if you're a, another 13 type of girl, you need to get your nose on this because this one, 
I dare say maybe even better, okay? They're not super similar, but I mean, very musky and brett. Um, I think there's some molecular notes in here, but this thing smells so, you like you wanna eat this. Like that is how delicious the amber seeds come off in this. Whereas I feel like another 13, you don't wanna eat another 13, but you kinda wanna eat this up. It's so beautiful, you guys. So thank you to Twisted Lily for gifting me this because I, was waiting for a sale, okay. Veronica says, hit me up. She was like, girl, if you're still looking for it, it's on sale. I think at fragrance.net or fragrance X, one of them. I went on two days later to buy it and it was like sold out. So I had been wanting this one, but waiting for a sale. And I'm so happy to have this now because these are quite pricey, but I feel like this house, the quality, okay. They're, they're actually worth full, full price. They really are. And this one is just so beautiful, so beautiful. All right, so this fragrance opens with mandarin orange and ginger. You don't get a whole lot of mandarin. For me, this wear is quite linear, okay? So it's not gonna be like this amazing journey that you're on, but it smells amazing the entire time to me, okay? Once you get to the mid, like that is what you're really getting for the life of this. So you have Musk Mallow, which is Ambretsy, and it is so dominant and prominent. You have Angelica, and y'all know I am an Angelica lover, okay? So it's not gonna be for everyone. If you hate Angelica, um, this may not be for you, but to me, this doesn't wear green. It has Angelica, but Angelica is very powdery. And I feel like the way it's done in here, it's lending it just an abundance of powderiness, adding to the muskiness, but it does not come off as anything green or sharp to me. So in the base, you have a very, very addictive <laughs> component of Ambroxan. Um, and you have the very creamy sandalwood and musk, okay? Ambroxan, musk, and sandalwood, like that is, uh, just a, an addictive base. And that is why I think that this is just so, like, man, please, just please just buy this. Because I feel like any woman is going to just be so crazy over how good this smells on a man. Now, women, test it. Don't blind buy it, test it, because you may think, like I said, if you like another 13 and you feel like it wasn't too masculine and it's perfectly unisex, chances are you will feel the same way about this. But this one is just so, like this is stunning, stellar, amazing performance. Um, you get the, the longevity projection. It's just, listen, if you love musk, <laughs> This is a must, okay? Absolutely obsessed with this one. And again, this is Bois and Brett's by the house of Atelier Matari. Okay, so this next fragrance, you guys, I got this off the recommendation um, from Miss Giselle B. Um, if you follow her on Instagram, it's gonna be GB underscore fragrances. So Giselle posted this on her Instagram and it was an immediate, I need it and I bought it. <laughs> like. I'm trying not to do that, but the way she described this fragrance, I was like, and you don't really hear a lot of people talking about it. She did mention that it was like a hidden gem. Oh my God, she never lied. This is from the House of Aaron. So it is designer, but this is on like the private end of this particular range. This is Tangier Vanille Dwar. Not to be confused with the original Tangier Vanille. I haven't smelled that one, so I can't really give you a comparison. But this one, listen to me, if you love ambery, vanilla, I'm talking about it's vanilla, you guys. This is for the vanilla girl, the vanilla lover in you. If you love that, but you feel like they wear too heavy, um, too ambery, too substantial for the heat, but you wish that you could carry that scent profile throughout you know, the spring and summer, this is the one that you need to get on your radar beautifully vanillic, okay? Very ambery. It's even warm spicy, but it wears with a lightness and airiness to it. And it sits close to the skin. So it's not gonna be anything so substantial that you feel like it's attacking you in, you know, high heat or humidity or just those really hot days. I love 
the way this smells. I have, I bought it, you know, brand new, okay? And it has not been a week and we are here because I cannot stop spraying this thing, okay? At some point of the day, this is getting sprayed on my skin, whether it just be the sense of the day, the sense of the evening, I just need a little touch on my hand because I want to experience the scent. Gorgeous vanilla fragrance. Y'all, I'm about to do a top 20 vanillas video. I just feel inspired to. Um, so stay tuned for that. But if you're a vanilla lover and you want something that wears lighter, okay? It's sweet, but not overly sweet. Um, ambery, but not too, like ambery can get really like heavy and dark and just too much for the heat, honestly. <laughs> this is not that. This is so beautifully done and you get that lighter wearing experience. So it's not a bead smoke, it's not gonna project across the room. So if you have that in mind, this is not that. It's the opposite of that. And I feel like I need all the vanillas that wear in a myriad of ways in my collection because I am a vanilla girl. So this actually opens with this gorgeous, juicy, like purple plum, some Bulgarian rolls and some bergamot. So it does have like, you know, this fruity quality in the opening. But in the mid, you start to get the gorgeousness of saffron myrrh, which can be a very difficult, you know, resonance note for me. It just, it can get really heavy, really fast and too much. Here it is done exquisitely. I'm telling you beautifully. Oh, you get it, but it's not OD, okay? You get the Madagascan vanilla, which of course is why we're here, okay, in the first place. We came for the vanilla, but then you have this crystal amber, which could contribute to why though ambery, it's still wearing with a lighter quality. Cashmere wood, all right? So it's comforting with the tongue of being the cashmere wood. And you have a, I would classify this as like a dry sandal wood, but it all comes together to create something that is for the vanilla lover in you. If you want something ambery, a little warm spicy because it has essential saffron that doesn't wear too heavy, Tangier Vanidor is absolutely one you must check out. Girl, so thank you for this recommendation. And thank you God for telling me, girl, it is okay to go ahead and blind buy it. And don't worry about your bank account because you just got paid today. So treat yourself. Okay, so this last one, gifted to me by the brand. Okay, looked at the bottle, looked at the packaging and was like, this is gonna be too masculine. And should I even open it? Like, should I just, you know, gift it to, you know, a man in my life? So glad that I did not because this is absolutely one you must try if you're into unisex scents. This one is for me straight up and down in the middle, okay? It doesn't lean too masculine, definitely doesn't lean feminine, perfectly unisex. This is GN Tonic or is it Gin and Tonic? Can y'all tell me what, um, in love, how y'all want me to pronounce this? Cause it's very unclear. Um, GN Tonic is literally like, you're, you're a gin and tonic, your you're drink, but you smell a little aromatic, you smell a little sweet, you smell very clean, refreshing, okay? It has tonic water as a note, and you get that gorgeous tonic, you know, bubbly sensation in the opening. You get the lime, it has a gin note, and of course, gin in a fragrance, it doesn't ever come across as like boozy, okay? You got that gin quality, and it is done so, when I tell you, Stand out fragrance for summer, okay? Stand out fragrance you must try. Um, and I do have 10% off from the house of Mika Left if you buy direct, so make sure you check the description box. But this has a mossy quality. This has that lime, that gin and tonic. It's got, you know, this bitter orange. And this is just summer perfection for me, okay? I cannot stop wearing it. My daughter cannot stop wearing it. My nephew comes over and he gets a little overspray. He thinks he's the man at five years old. We just all seem to love this fragrance. And if you're looking for something, um, you know, like Creed Virgin Island Water, they don't smell alike, but if you like scents like that, but you want something that's better performing, um, and with that gin and tonic flow, then look, check this one out because I, 
absolutely love it and I think you will too. All right, you guys, so that is our video for today. Please drop me a comment below. Let me know fragrances that you have been completely obsessing over as of late. I'm dying to know. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, you guys, and make sure the notification bell is turned on to all. Last but not least, if you found any value in the content, give the video a big thumbs up as it helps this channel to grow. Thank you all. I love you all and I will catch you guys in the next one.